Hello. I. Uh, I have a story and uh, some announcements before we get started here today. Um. So the story. It. Um. <laughs> most people in chat will probably already know this. Uh, because I talk to people quite a lot. Um. I had work yesterday. But I didn't end up going because I woke up with one of the worst stomach aches I have ever had in a long time. So I ended up calling out. Um, in fact, I was basically just vibing at home the most of the day. Uh, it wasn't like until late at night that I actually started talking again. And even then, it was still very painful. But I woke up today and I'm fine. So I decided to stream. I was, I was thinking I was going to have to cancel yesterday if this kept going. But I'm fine today, so... I get that sometimes, where it's just, my intestines are just like, whoa now, we're gonna just randomly start hurting for no reason. I'm sure it's like my, um, eating habits, possibly, but that's besides the point. So yeah, that happened. Um, and the announcement, I've been wanting to keep this a little quiet, but, um, the VR stream is happening this week. At least hopefully it is. Um, I've been playing a lot of VR. Uh, just testing it, see if it works a long time. Uh, it does. It's still been working fine. And I've even figured out a way to possibly get chat on my arms, so I'll be able to just look over and see what you guys are saying. Um, so, yeah. But the thing is, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I've never had to, like, stream VR or VR chat or anything, because that's what I'll be doing is VR chat. Um... I've never had to stream it before, and I don't know what kind of content to do. Because from what I've gathered, VR chat is mostly just hanging out, and I don't want to go to public sky. I don't want to risk getting banned <laughs> or anything. And I also don't like socializing, so yeah, I'll probably just stick to privates for now. Um, but if any like common viewers or anything if you want to hop in and join that would be perfectly fine ghost is a never have i ever world what the heck is that and how would that work how would how if, again i'm completely new to vr streaming and whatnot i don't even know how i'm gonna set up the camera properly just the game of never have i ever don't you need more people to play that with Don't you need more than one person? <laughs> I don't know. I've never really played Never Have I Ever before. Like, I've seen people do it. No, it asks questions automatically. Oh. Well, that would just be revealing stuff about me then. <laughs> I don't know about that one. But anyway, I I will be taking suggestions on what to do. Are you like that? I mean, if you want to do that, you can hop on in and we can do it together. I know you have a VR, and even if you don't have a VR, you could certainly hop in on PC if you want to. Um, we do not discriminate here. I was on PC for quite a long time when I, when my friends had VR and I didn't, so feel free to do whatever. But if I know you, if I recognize you, if you pop into chat a lot, you are more than welcome to join. I've still got to get my models into VR chat though. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping that I'll have a, a surprise ready by that day, which I'm hoping I'm hopefully gonna do it like towards later in the week, like Thursday or Friday. Uh, maybe even the weekend. Although probably not. I think I got stuff going on the weekend. So, but I'm hoping to have something ready by then so I can reveal it in VR. Now that would be cool. Just a little bit of a heads up though. I don't have any sort of full body tracking and. My headset is incredibly old, and my controllers are busted, so if stuff goes horribly wrong, don't be surprised. <laughs> I have an old, old Rift S. I don't even have a new generation headset, and one of my controllers literally is cracked down the middle, so it sometimes loses tracking. Uh, and yeah, I don't own any sort of full body or anything. So, just a heads up, don't be expecting any professionalism with this. Um, but that's about it for announcement-wise. Um, anything I'm missing? 
Not that I can think of. Um, so yeah, they, they, that's what's gonna happen. Um, again, the VR will happen probably later in the week. Uh, but yeah, I've tested everything. It works. Um, I haven't tested it. Well, the, the problem wouldn't be even be the OBS thing. I would never expect professionalism from this channel. Good, you shouldn't. <laughs> um, but I've tested it. Everything works. Uh, even the audio, which surprisingly does tra transfer. I just got to make sure that I don't accidentally um, hit something on the laptop that makes everything go really wonky. Um... Because the way I'm going to have to do it is I'm going to have my capture card that I use for, like, my Switch and I use for my PS4. Uh, and I'm going to hook it up to, with an adapter, my laptop. And basically what it does is it just captures my entire laptop screen. So I'm going to have to make sure that I can find a way to, like, full screen VR chat. Or just make sure that nothing else is on it, on the screen. Because otherwise that's going to be very awkward. <laughs> Because, yeah, that's what it does. It just captures my entire screen. It doesn't capture a specific application. Because, uh, yeah, I, I, the only reason this is happening is because I got that new laptop and VR actually works on it, unlike my current computer, um, which I am currently streaming from. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting, to say the least. Not until I can be your IRL sister. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, but, anyway, enough about that. Um... Danganronpa, I have I know nothing about it. I know absolutely nothing about this game. Um, I've heard of it. I don't know anything about it. Um, <laughs> uh, I I don't know any sort of lore, story, secrets. Okay, I I think I've only seen one character from this game, and that's just because I browse the internet. <laughs> I know nothing about them though. <laughs> so yeah, I am going in. Basically, 100% blind with this. I don't even know what kind of game this is. Like, I, I kind of tell it's probably going to be like some. I'm not even going to make any assumptions. Um, but this is the. For, uh, Maddie here is an expert in this field, apparently. So I will be asking her any questions that I have. And Maddie, you better stay here the whole time because I'm probably going to have a ton of questions. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, this is going to be very interesting. Um, so, let's just go ahead and get started here. The music is nice, though, the mini music. Hello. <laughs> We're gonna be here all night, got my water food. Alright. Uh, we might not play this the entire time, we might switch to something else if, you know... We decide to, uh, but I will. I'm expected to play this for a good minute, for a good amount of time. Because from what Maddie said, this game is pretty long, uh, 25 hours. <laughs> so this will be a good couple of streams. Um, so yeah, I I don't I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are. I I don't know anything. Is the audio working? Yes. Okay. Good. Press start. I'm guessing that's clicking. I'm using a keyboard and mouse, by the way. <laughs> Uh, start. Okay. Oh, I wasn't even tapped in. What? 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 Am I not supposed to be using keyboard? My controller. Oh, I don't have my controller at the moment. I don't have it right now. It's put away. I put it away because I cleaned my desk. Um. Ah, I'll be fine. Option. I'll be fine. English. Is this text language? And we'll go English. Logic difficulty. <laughs> what? What? Logic and action difficulty? Play on mean? What is that like? This, this is like hard mode? The first game is very easy? Okay. Okay, we'll try it. It's a bear. Oh, it's you. I've seen you before. Oh my god, who that? Oh, this, this, that's, this doesn't look cool. What in the world is going on?
Oh my god. He dead. Why are you laughing? A guy just died. Okay, what the heck? Oh my god. This is very loud for me. I don't know if it's loud for you guys. This is incredibly loud for me. Oh, the massive high school towers all over all the other buildings. Oh, I can't read. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Oh, wow. Oh, that's impressive looking. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if... Oh, yeah, I should... Yeah. You should be on the other side of the screen. Ah, good to know. Thank you for telling me. I am over here now. This feels incredibly weird to be on this side now. Hold on. Wait. Oh, God, now I gotta move everything else over. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, that's just marginally good enough. Okay, Th this this should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna tap back in without clicking. There we go. Okay. Oh God, this is weird now. I have never been on this side before. <laughs> at least not at least not that I can remember. Not with this window layout that I've had. Uh, they say that if if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak Academy... Uh, Hope's Peak a fit, pretty fitting name. I can read, I promise. I just don't do it often. There are two things you need to attend this school. Once you have... One, you, one, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing... There at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate student was me. Oh, that's me. That doesn't look like me. Farther. I guess I should introduce myself. There's voice My acting. Makoto Naegi. I don't have to read. Never mind, I have to read. <laughs> God dang it. As you can see, I'm average on the outside, average on the inside. I didn't read the first bit. Auto, can I turn that off? <laughs> I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. Oh, now you take your time. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not that I'm a psychic or a mute or mutant or whatever. Do you turn on auto advance? How do I turn that off? Uh, like, if you asked me what my favorite song was or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. I could tell you if you weren't. <laughs> Well, pressing every button. I did it! I don't know what I pressed, but I did it! <laughs> even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me, I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of the any of anything but I can't read. I give up. Here I am, standing in front of the anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. There we go, I can read. <laughs> I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. What? What is this old school freaking window set up? What? <laughs> Hope's Peak only invites those students who are the truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads, and all I saw was talk about ultimate students, who are way beyond your average high schooler. Oh wow. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Ooh, baseball. Okay. There's also also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already had their eyes on him. 
my god. <laughs> Lights. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. I recognize you. I think I've seen you before somewhere. I swear I've seen this person before. Hi. Because I know I said I, rec I recognized the character from this game before. That was Monokuma, the bear. I have no idea who this person is, but I swear I've seen them before. <laughs> She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Whoa. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, <laughs> ultimate gambler. <laughs> what are these? What are these three? The ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest top bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride alliance. <laughs> the first game has some silly talents. Okay, but still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be... Could they be just average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to, to see why. Haha! <laughs> We've recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected, and we invite you to join us at the, as the ultimate lucky student. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. <laughs> Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. But then, actually standing there in front of the school... I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. I don't see it there. It said that there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. I'm guessing it's important because it's yellow. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I got up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And took my first step toward the main hall. Ooh, okay. Interesting. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7.10am. The meeting doesn't start till on, until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes. Talk about getting there early, my god. Makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I'm still wound up, I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting, just standing around waiting isn't exactly... Okay. I should take a look around the school, maybe that'll help calm me down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. What? Whoa, what? that's what exactly what I was gonna say, what the heck? But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. I think you and Makoto are talking. No! Not another twin. Okay. That's, that was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized that the reason I was brought to Hope Speak Academy 
wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Green. Welcome to despair, okay. Do you want to save? Sure. Uh, yes. Speaking. Am I, though? I'm just saying nothing. <laughs> we, we do look cool, though. Mm -hmm. I will admit. What? Where am I? I woke, up, I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. The heck is going on? I'm not gonna do any voice acting, by the way. Just an FYI. Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. If you aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the left mouse button, and presto, you'll investigate that object. Use the WASD buttons to adjust your viewpoint, or you can press and hold the right mouse button and move the mouse around. Let's try looking around the classroom. Oh, I have I have a cursor. Oh, that's funky. Oh, okay. Oh, TV. I shot the TV. There's the TV. <laughs> the school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. Oh, I wonder what it is. Clock. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Why is there a camera? Does that say monocam? Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep... I guess they have these things to keep weirdos from just wandering in. Anything else? What is that? Is that the, supposed to be windows? What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. If I were to knock on it. Oh. Yep, definitely metal. Thick, too. Very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? But I've already investigated that. Oh, wait. Paper. I'm shooting everything right now. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I, st I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Hey there, new kid. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. Oh, an orientation guide. It's some kind of cheap-looking pamphlet, and there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, I just read that. What the hell? Somebody's idea of a joke. Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me here. That's true. It must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. It took you that long to figure that out. But then, if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows—it's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. Should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be some other students there now. You can leave the pla- the, the classroom, yes! You can leave the classroom by pressing the R key. What else is there around here? There's nothing else to investigate. Okay. R. Leave the area. Yes. Peace. Jeez, this hallway's kind of weird, too. It's getting stranger by the second. Honestly, I have no idea what's going on. Ugh. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use the W. Use the Y's keys to move through the. Oh, I can actually move? Hold down the shift key while moving to run. Also, press the tab key to bring up a map. Press the, thing to the, press the tab key again to close the map. How convenient! Oh, wow. There's actual, like, first person elements. Oh, man, the sensitivity is weird. Okay. So where am I going? Main hall? I'm guessing it's like over here? Where am I? 
Um, was the main hall up there? Uh, yeah. She can handle it, move it all. Okay, so it's not there. Where the heck is the main main hall? Am, am I dumb? Am I dumb right now? Where's the main hall? Oh, wait a minute. Don't tell me. <laughs> Don't tell me. It was right there. By the, time... <laughs> By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Holy cow, there's a lot of people. Hey, another new kid? Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, picking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Whoa. Oh, this is cool. Uh, how's it going? My name is Makoto. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that last name. But N Nagi? Nagi? How do you pronounce it? I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> I don't wanna. So, I got it? Which one? <laughs> I said two different ones. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened and all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? <laughs> oh god, there's so many. Yeah, I'm definitely not doing. A Nagi? A Nagi? Okay. I'm not gonna try to do a voice for unique voice for everyone. Not happening. There's 15 other 15 total people. No, not happening. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whoa, you too. Hmm. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. Who are you? <laughs> so strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it. Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Makoto, your turning this is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What? Okay, seeing the full... I definitely recognize... Where have I seen you before? I'm, I'm losing my mind right now. What is your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right. Why do I feel like I've seen you too? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? Now's not the time for friggin' introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we are. We all, all who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I can read, I promise. I'm gonna be saying that a lot this playthrough. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other? You've probably seen the prettiest girls online just because they're popular for being pretty. Oh, okay. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Um... I feel like I've seen you as well. Oh, okay. How many characters have I seen online that I didn't know were from this game? Let's see. Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way then. We can move on to whatever else. Sounds good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is the goodest chance that I'm gonna get. I use emotes of her? Oh, maybe that too. Okay. I already looked everyone up on that Hope Speak Academy thread online, but... I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. I'm assuming because the left mouse wanted to talk to them. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Are you kidding me? I have bad enough memory as it is. How do they expect me to remember all these conversations? You kidding me? Okay. Uh, let's just go right to left, I guess. Guess they're, let's play again. Guess their talent before they tell you. How am I supposed to know? <laughs> why can I? Why can I interact with these? What is that? Just guess. That surveillance camera has what looks like a gun attached to it, but there's no way that's a real gun, right? Hmm. 
Well, I guess. Okay, hello. I'm Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. Really? The game told some of you some of them before. Remember? No. No, I don't. Um. I swear they referenced this guy, though. I don't remember what it was for, though. But he definitely... Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's my guess. I don't know. Oh, the fanfic. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Is it going to be like this the whole time? Well, in that world, I am well-known and supremely well-regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at, at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying that, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable, yeah. The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about them. I can't. I can't. This is too funny. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna. This is gonna be hard. Okay. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. I'm gonna pull up pronunciation again in chat. Naegi. You would comprehend its greatness immediately. I will get used to saying that, I promise. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What? What kind of meaning? It's about embracing our basis. Ba basest? Basest? Basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. <laughs> All right, well, right to left. Let's go to you next. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? I like you already. You seem cool. Ultimate. Oh, he is the baseball guy. Okay. Oh, I forgot to guess. My bad. Well, I wasn't gonna guess that anyway. So I recognize that name. Oh, his hair looks different. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is. You? Seriously? Huh? huh? What's wrong? N nothing, I'm just surprised. I figured you, with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. Oh, were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? Yeah, he did have a shaved head. No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. What? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. Hi, Akio! Danganronpa. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen anything on it, so this is my first time seeing it. Um, so again, please keep spoilers to a minimum, and if possible, zero. No spoilers, I guess. Yeah, exactly. This is... I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of national championship regulation. Seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, I could be. To Can I be totally honest no. with you? I don't like baseball, like at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced, and he was still his team's star player. He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah. And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. Hey! You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing... Th this new version of me that's chasing after my dream is, like, super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. 
I never imagined that. I, I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. All right, middle. Hello, who are you? Hi, I'm Saya from Arizona. Oh, Saya. Okay. You. you. I have no idea who this is. He sadly missed his reaction to Kumi. Watch the vod. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. Uh, I again, I have no idea who this who this thing is. Oh, you're the pop one. Okay. The way she moves is positively mesmer. Ah! Really? Really? When I was reading, the way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. I'm hoping I pronounced that right. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. Oh, I can see it now. Okay. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. I'm surprised. Ah! <laughs> Please, someone clip that if you can. <laughs> That's the ultimate pop sensation. She's in high. She's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. <laughs> we were thinking that, right? How did she know? I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. What? Did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. Sure. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um. Uh, huh? Hey, by any chance. Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, dude. Just hold on. Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um. Sorry, I just got carried away, you I hear guess. Me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bubbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. I hate this guy already. Um, You're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. It sounded like Saika really had something she wanted to say, but it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we could talk later. Alright, who are you? I'm going to you last. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... I'm... Toko. Toko Fukawa. Okay. Ultimate writing prodigy. I would never have guessed that. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literacy career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. Toko's one of your favorites? Oh, okay. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men poll. <laughs> Despite her age, she's won countless literacy prizes, and all of her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type. What with her masterpiece being a romance and all. <laughs> What's your problem? Uh oh. <laughs> What? It's not polite to stare, you know. What the heck? Stop staring at me like some I'm some filthy creature. A filthy creature? No, I just thought... I know what you just thought. You just thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You thought you just thought it was so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking about. Oh boy, okay. I'm telling you! Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true, otherwise you... I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Whatever, I don't really care. I'm used to it. I'll talk about an inferiority conflict. <laughs> I was way off about what a successful offer would be like. Oh god, now we gotta talk to him? Okay. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Okay, what are you? Ultimate moral compass. All right. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he 
He went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honors student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. Oh boy. I'm already talking too much. <laughs> they say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto. Hold on. <laughs> Got it. Naegi. I will remember that one day. That's a good name. A strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. To keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right? This guy's kind of annoying. That exact... Oh, there's more people now. Oh my god. Why is there so much reading? <laughs> Okay, now to talk to those five people over there. Alright. You know, let's go left to right this time. Hey up! I'm Aoi Asahina. But my friends just call me Hina. What's up? Hi. <laughs> Ultimate swimming Oh, that's the swimming one. Okay. Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as the upcoming Olympic candidate, uh, cadet, not candidate, cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and, um, proportions have been... <laughs> really? Has been widely discussed online. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, I totally forgot. Makoto Naegi. I remembered it! Oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it. Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Nagi, Makoto Nagi. I did it! Two more times! <laughs> Makoto going straight to the point. <laughs> yeah. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? I don't know. If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Neither have I. I've never heard of that before. Proportion? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? <laughs> you spell it exactly like it sounds. Um. Well, I have no idea. I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned today- One thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. I'm already on it because I'm talking too much. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know- I don't know if that happens to anyone else here, um, but whenever I talk a lot, I yawn. I don't know why. Hello. Nice to meet you. Okay, you thank you. Fujisaki? Uh, this one's your favorite? Okay. I have no idea what they would be either. Oh, this is the programmer. Okay. So cute. I love her. <laughs> Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. Anyway, I hope you can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met? Have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a he, I think. Okay. Oh yeah, good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Using them with a different character from game two. Oh, okay. Shihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting-edge programs she's created. Yeah, she. There we go. Confirmed. Got it. <laughs> she's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going on, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Um, hey, so listen. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, re I'm really sorry. What are you apologizing for now? Um, well, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? Maddie? You, this reminds me of someone we both know, and I think you know who. 
Not nowadays, but you know. No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. <laughs> no, is a no is. Oh, okay. Interesting. Alright, who this? Hmm. The name. Hmm. Interesting. Um, can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Okay. Ultimate question mark. She's pretty tight lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope's Peak Academy thread. I didn't know, I didn't know, sorry, I didn't think that she did. Hey, uh, it does not really matter to me, honestly. That's not a spoiler in my eyes. Unless it's like... Something that's like super important to the story later on, I don't really care. And I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. This girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Okay, why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. Ooh. No, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. I was thinking about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Okay. You. Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Hi. You're the fashion one, right? Yeah! Anybody who ever recognized this one? <laughs> Why? Why you gotta say it like that? Come on! <laughs> She's got more charm and presence than any any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like it doesn't quite match up to reality. Damn. <laughs> what? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> Well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. God, was so mean sometimes. Yeah. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. Totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. <laughs> and you, you're the biker gang person, right? Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet ya. Damn! <laughs> okay, hi! Oh, yeah. Mondo Awada, huh? Which means... He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um... Nice to meet you, too. Yo. Hell yeah. I better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. I don't think you'd wake up from that. Let's be honest. Those four over there are the only ones left. Alright, right to left, again. 
I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Interesting voice. Hello, what are you? Ultimate Gambler. Okay, we're gonna get along well. <laughs> Celestia Luden... huh? Ludenberg is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer you to call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. This will have pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Yuko and his... Hey, we don't talk about that. Remember, we call it Gamba or Hobby on Twitch. <laughs> who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. Yeah, gotcha. That works, too. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. Oh god, I put on an auto again. Okay, so it's space. Good to know. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> the smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. Alright, this guy. He looks cool. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Oh, I like him already. <laughs> what are you? Ultimate clairvoyant. What does that mean again? Oh, psychic stuff. Okay. Yasuhiro Hagakure? How the heck do you pronounce that last name? Hagakure? I wish I was listening to what he pronounced it, because god, I can't remember. Yasuhiro Hagakure, known as Supernova in the psychic community. The, the trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant. Also, hi Thunder, thank you for the hydrating stretch. Oh, uh, oh back I go. I forgot to lock my share in place. Oops. There we go. But oh, hi Thunder, how are you? Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune-telling stuff. Pretty much beyond me. Hello. Well, hi. <laughs> well, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Chilling. Cool. Uh, okay, I give up. Eh? What happened? You're serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. I saw hmm. what? A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot, running off with a skyfish in its mouth. What the heck? <laughs> How are you? I am good. This game is interesting. Uh, it's getting interesting enough already with the characters. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I love it when you wave back. It's always a nice cheat. <laughs> I need to do it more then. Okay, good to know. But hey, we should grab some Bruce sometime and get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know. Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times. See, and well, it's a long story. Seems like an odd game. I'm still in the tutorial. I think. Let's just say that. You just came at a weird time. Yeah. Well, this, this entire thing has been weird. A few times. Yeah, I bet that is a long story. All right, who are you? I didn't click on the door. <laughs> Holy cow, what's with the store? This is the same main hall I was in before, right? Oh yeah, I didn't even know it. I don't know how I didn't put that together. I already see content of this game, it is weird. Okay. You know, Stories definitely wasn't here then, though. Hydrate again? Didn't we just have one? Two minutes? Okay. And I can't explain exactly why, but this whole main hall feels kind of different. All right, let's try again. Byakuya. Name's Byakuya Togami. It was a while ago. I'm making sure to hydrate. <laughs> it was two minutes ago, Maddie. Maddie's trying to overwater. <laughs> Byakuya Togami. Okay, that's not too hard to say. 
ultimate affluent rot progeny. Rot, 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 what? introduction I've ever heard, but there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one's special. The Akiya Togami, he's the, he's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. <laughs> Yixi has stopped working. I had to look up what a progeny was. Because I'd never heard the word before. That's all I did. <laughs> I had to look up what it meant. <laughs> He's already started managing business operations and his own personal assets are, well, vast. I will- I had to look it up! I've heard of prodigy, not progeny, though. Unless I have it, I just completely forgot what it meant. <laughs> That's- that is very, very possible. <laughs> Because I forget things a lot. <laughs> His title of Ultimate Affluent Progeny is completely accurate. He's a definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope's Peak Academy thread online. Come on. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. This aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level like a king in training. Who are you? I am Sakura Ogami. That is not the voice I was expecting. Ultimate martial artist. That makes sense. Oh jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. Have a good stream. Thank you for the lurk. I will. I will have good stream. But now I remember she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. Okay, wow. That thread is also said about, that thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her ogre. <laughs> Some even think she's the closest known relative to the prize. <laughs> the famed missing god, this game. Any incoming Hope Speak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you. Yes? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. As she started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what are you... I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. Huh. What a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. <laughs> and that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of, um, something. Hmm. Okay, it's time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed bull baboons. Oh, that, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, you see... Uh, um... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What, seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here, somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> no, go back! I didn't read it! <laughs> I accidentally clicked! <laughs> Can I go back? Uh, I guess not. Oh well. I'll never know what it said. And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways are, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? I need to stop yapping. 
Plus, all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. I don't think you can use the chat backlog yet? Dang. Oh well. Yeah, you're right, I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? No, excuse me. But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's it doing here? Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something? Is it, like... What, like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. Sure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just going to take it easy for a little Let me bit. See. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Oh, well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then, it began. I'm sorry. Is that not the FNAF 6am sound? Is that not what that is? I know it's just a, a clock, like a, an alarm clock, or like a grandfather clock or something. But God, that sounded exactly like it. Oh, Monokuma. Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. My Same test Japanese one, spell two, sound? Okay. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Oh, whoops. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay. Am well, I never going to have to voice him? That'll be great. Hold on. Okay. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Okay. What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. <laughs> it's just goodbye and fades away. <laughs> I got, hold on, hold on, hold on, well then if you'll excuse me, I'ma just fade into the abyss real quick. Hey, hey, hey what, you're, you're just gonna take off like that? Oh yeah, now I get it, this whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. Man, thank god it was all a joke, I'd be totally freaked if this were real. Yeah, sure buddy. You know? Alright, guess I'll head out too, wonder what they got planned for us next. Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap, too. Why the, Why is everyone disappearing at the deepest? <laughs> Why'd they have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Wait, wait for me. I want to go with you. <laughs> That's that, then. I, why is everyone disappearing? <laughs> I'll see you all there. Anyway. Not that anyone cares, but I'm going to go, too. Everyone took off at the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I'd had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. It looked like I wasn't the only one. Um, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However, just keep maybe just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I guess she's right. Yeah. But still, I'm kind of no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. You said to go to the gym, right? You want to save? Yes. Yes. Overrate. 
I can talk to people again? Oh, this is everyone who stayed back, I guess. Is it necessary or is it the same stuff? Is, is it different or the same? I'm guessing it's different. Because there's more people. Oh my god, fine. Left to right! This is bad. What was with that answer? It was like totally creepy. Okay, so these are shorter, okay. Shit. Do you want new fluff text, but it's not necessary. Okay. Shit, what the hell was what the hell kind of game are they play? Okay, yeah, this is just gonna be one sentence stuff. Thanks, uh, it's leave the area, yes. Uh ha. this way. Just do it with your favorites to be honest? Okay. And here we go. In we go! Gym time. This is not what I was expecting hey, of a gym. Come on. God, I had no idea this Hope Speak Academy place was gonna be such a pain in my balls. <laughs> it really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. No, this place is even worse. Why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that like seriously not good? <laughs> They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later. I'm sure of it. Huh. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> Shit. Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, who are? Wh where's whoever called us here? <laughs> Mondo, stop! No running! Well, <laughs> I too shall go. <laughs> <laughs> what was that scream? <laughs> hey, wait, don't leave me here all alone! I was here, though. Okay, time for some t more tutorial action. You can press the tab key to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Ah, yeah, that would have been very flippin' helpful. Alright, left to right. Aye. Silent as always. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Um... Where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? Okay, it's more, it's more normal stuff. TV! The school has a lot of TVs. They couldn't all just be for that weird school broadcast, could they? Oh, where are other things? Door. Oh wait, there's something behind you. Okay. Why is there just a sword there? Oh, it's a trophy. A display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? So it's probably just a tiny fraction of all their rewards. Sure. Alright. Oh wait, is there more? No. Okay. Door! Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the gym, what the announcement said and went to the gym. And what I saw was waiting... What I... What? And I saw what was waiting for us there! TV. I could play games. It looks at the programming, bro. <laughs> I could talk. I swear. I'm just bad at it. Oh. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. See, told you, it's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Girl was right. But in, that, in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Am I really not gonna have to voice them the entire time? Because if so, I'm very happy about that. That's less reading for me. Oh, this is, this is a cool animation style. Hello. Hi. Uh, teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. Oh. You're gonna die first. <laughs> the English voice actors are so weird sometimes. I am... I did get the name right. Okay. And I am this school's headmaster. Okay. It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing was... It was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. 
such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I had been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. <laughs> the animation in this game is so... Yeah. What? The teddy bear can talk! Calm down, I'm sure there's just a speaker inside of it. I told you already. Oh, I do have to read it. Oh, God. I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monoc... Oh. <laughs> I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. Oh, I moved! Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything. You've cut me deep, deeper than the mar... mar, mar, mar Mariana Trench. There we go. Our remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate or even comprehend it. But don't make me say stuff that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Bear that? Really? You are unfortunate. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, okay, so... He has abandoned the gag. Good morning. Everyone stand at attention and bow. And good morning! You hear me? I can read, trust me. Also, Hyoko, <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> I can't read. Good morning! What's your problem? You don't have to say it back. Now then. Let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you'll all live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Ugh. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? <laughs> ah, now then, regarding the end date for this communal life... Uh, there isn't one. In other words, you will all be here until the day you die, such as the school life you've been assigned. What did he just say? Until the day we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack you won't lack for all the common conveniences. Hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. <laughs> I am not screwing with you. I am no liar. Of that, you can be 100% sure. Uh -huh. I highly doubt that. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again. Cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school. They're... Are there to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're there for. No matter how much you may yell and scream for help, help will not come. So with all that, all of that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all. This is just a really bad joke. Damn you. Yeah, cut the shit out. This isn't funny anymore. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Hydrate again. Oh boy. I spilled some on me. Hold on. <laughs> I can't do anything right. <laughs> I can't read. I can't drink. Well, ah. Really? Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of, of your own free will to attend Hope Speak Academy, didn't you? 
And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey, um... Oh, but you know, I guess I did for forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. <laughs> but really? Actually... As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who'd like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now, then. now let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, and they, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another. Murder? Is this game gonna turn into like a murder mystery? <laughs> Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went... Mur Ooh, murder! <laughs> In-game Twitch, in-game. I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know... Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! And I just find that so darn exciting! What the hell? Twitch, I see you, not today. <laughs> What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is... it's... Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means! That's not the problem! Why do we have to kill each other? <laughs> yeah, stop blabbering on with all this nonsense! Just let us go home already! Blabbering. I didn't have to read that. Blabbering! Blabbering! What do you mean, blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! How strange. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, the school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? And you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead, go on a kill, kill, killing spree. All right, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Hmm? Eh? got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us, so you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? I thought I just heard something. <laughs> reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah, because, I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh... Shit. Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way. Shoving Hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, asshole. This shit's gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What? You mean like your hair? Damn! <laughs> Damn! You son of a bitch! <laughs> Mondo roared out, and then and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. <laughs> He'd locked onto his target. Oh. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. That's just got interesting. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! Damn. What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations. Shut the fuck up. Let me out of here, I swear to Christ. Huh? Hey, damn it. Well, I know smart ass comeback this time. Piece of shit. Stop that goddamn beeping and say something. Watch out. Watch out, get rid of it. Huh? Huh? Hurry up and throw it. 
I don't know if Ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma, and as soon as he did... Well, we can go now! <laughs> the hell? What the? That sure as shit wasn't a joke, it blew the hell up! There's a painful ringing in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I've never seen anything like it. But you know, this means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? I told you, I'm not a teddy bear, I'm Monokuma! How are you alive? Huh? There's another one? Damn you! Oh, bitch. You seriously tried to kill me just now. Of course! Well, yes, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you'd better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. Hey, so does this mean there's, like, a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any of the rules, well, you all saw what just happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. Huh? That's not even punishment, that's just wrong. Well... Ah, uh, then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it... The E-Handbook. Oh, God. Um, yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure to have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. What? Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it. It'll keep it'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space age, space age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant, wouldn't it? When will Apple take the product? <laughs> the eye handbook. <laughs> yeah. When's that gonna happen? It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys? You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed! Same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial. We have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Bye -bye. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! And with that, he was gone. Leaving us all in a state of shock. So, guys, how would you define what we just experienced? What the crap? How... why... I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever? We're killed? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to just calm down. Like I said in my own voice before. When can we get together? <laughs> First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is that we each stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... Mm -hmm. If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? Hmm. But killing someone, that I don't know about you guys, but I want to get out. <laughs> we were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is, this is just... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie. It's what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard, it all has to be fake. Right now it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake, what matters is... In other words... Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all of this? To that, nobody had a response. To be quiet myself, I looked around at the others. Alright, let's let's do a mature way of picking someone. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, yep, that's definitely a mature way of doing it. Mm-hmm, 100%. I looked around at the others.
They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us had become suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And that was how my new school life began. The school which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. The end. <laughs> okay, game's done. <laughs> the surviving students 15. Oh, wait a minute. Now the real game. My phone! What do you want? Go away! Whoa. Ah, cool music. It's so long since I've since I forgot about a lot of the lore. This is cool. Yeah, there's the bitch. Okay. How long is this? <laughs> Break. Oh god, someone just died. What was that Pokemon-ass sound? What? You received the school crest present. Save. Overwrite. From zero to hero, finish the prologue. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. <laughs> Pretty big a starter. <laughs> I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body. Dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. Chapter 1. To survive. Daily life! Sure. For as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp yeah. words. So, what are you gonna do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. <laughs> right, she's right. Listen to me. Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. <laughs> Don't forget such a simple fact. I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. <laughs> Will do! <laughs> I can't forgive myself. Please, somebody hit me. Punish me. <laughs> Is he a masochist? I guess not, but at least he's honor- I, I will give him one thing. He is definitely honorable. <laughs> get over here. <laughs> yeah, get over here, buddy. I could give you a good old one, too. Knuckle sandwich. Just, if you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. Watch out! Here I come, Wee brother! Lee! Hi! <laughs> Hello, Wheelie! Hello! Hold on, shout out real quick. Uh, uh, so at Wheatley, where are you? Wheatley, there we go. 
Dang it. <laughs> Hi, Willie! <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Hello. Thank you, whoever did that as well. Thank you, I was just about to do that. Uh, but let's see, what were you doing? Lost Judgment. Ah, okay. I think I remember you playing that game once before. Is it good? Is it going good? Um, I am just taking my first steps into Danganronpa. Uh, because Maddie has been requesting this since la since last month. So I'm finally, well, early, before last month, but I'm finally playing it. Uh, I've seen nothing of this game. I know nothing of this game. So, keep, please, if you're going to stay, keep spoilers to a minimum. Lost Judgment has been very good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I am not doing voices, just an FYI, but um, I am going in completely blind. So, yeah, this is going to be fun. Um, but, yeah, I'm glad. I hope your stream went well. Thank you again for the raid. And hello, everyone from that raid. I'm an avid fan of this game franchise, so I'm excited to see it. So, thank you for the follow, Rubu. Ru 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 I'm sorry, I'm bad at pronunciation. How do you pronounce that name? Rublet? Rublet? It's so sad when Goku dies. <laughs> you see, those are the kind of spoilers that I like because they're jokes. <laughs> Rublet? All right, cool. Well, thank you for the follow and thank you for joining the raid. Um, anyway, I'm gonna get back to the game now. Perhaps, but what's the mission exactly? Stupid. <laughs> Idiot, look for a way out, duh! What the? We totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But, but... Well, before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Malakuma mentioned before doing anything else. Yeah, this probably. We don't want to blow up. True, if we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. All right. so then... Fine, then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Oh, I thought it was just going to be no rules. <laughs> After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. But just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. And from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules be being imposed on us all. Thank you for the hydrate! Oh, and a stretch. All right, hold on. Let me unlock the chair. There we go. Hey, we. That that was better. That feels better. I actually needed to do that for a while. <laughs> Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. What is my hand doing? <laughs> sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Ugh. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope Speak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Do not fall. Lead my desk. I put you on there to display you. You do not fall. Sorry. <laughs> Something on my desk was just about to fall off and I had to have my back up. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Oh, so if we are if they're found that they killed, they stay. So they have to get away with it. Oh. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling like a slight dizziness, I raised my face from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around! This is bullshit! What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me! <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However, I am trying to need to lurk, do some post-stream activities, but I'll be watching the despair from a safe distance. Okay, thank you for the lurk, and again, thank you for the raid. Have a good 
post stream stuff. But if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Uh, Yo. I, ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So what? What? I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep. That's so what. Piece of shit. So I can't afford to die in here. None of that made much sense to me, but are you saying you'll follow the regulations? Is that it? That's true. Oh well, yeah, I guess you're right. All activities are post-stream activities if you think about it. Good point. <laughs> hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Blackened. Any student, anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It says that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. Well, why? Why do we have to do that? <laughs> I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. Don't jab at me. Give me a break. More like a full-on stab. Hmm. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. Hmm. Hmm. I'm here now. I am... I... We didn't move whatsoever, but I am here now. Okay. I just stepped right in front of her. Sure, we need to find out where exactly we are. Is there any way is there any way out? What about food and supplies? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! Damn straight! Okay then, let's all start looking around. Hmm. I'll be going alone. What? What why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Hmm. Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Second. Wait, hold on a sec. No, oh, that would never... Yeah. Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. Can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um... But... Hmm. So I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold on. Hold on. Like hell I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Of my way, Plankton. What? The frick's that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. Though minuscule, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. <laughs> I'm gonna hit your ass. Stop it, we shouldn't fight. What? The frick you just say? You some kind of goody goody little bitch? You wanna throw down? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my frickin' dad or something? Not my butt. <laughs> no, it wasn't. You son of a bitch! Frick you! <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> Wham! <laughs> he punched me, <laughs> and I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming, it was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten the kind of people I've been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. Well, man up and fight! <laughs> so I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just... Lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my conscience started to fade. Before it finally cut out completely. Chapter 2. I'm dead. <laughs> and when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... A room. Time unknown. Oh, I love this HUD. Oh, this is cool. <sighs> Chapter 2. I died. <laughs> Like in a diary. <laughs> huh? Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I had never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? 
You now have access to the handbook menu you can pull, you can use this to check a variety of information as you play open a handbook menu by pressing the f1 key oh that's an odd key okay you can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info in the report card section at certain points map and truth bullet what the frick are truth bullets truth bullets may not be available you can also save and load game data under the system section you can play on a controller like i said why, but... <laughs> Finally, press the F2 key to review the transcript. It scrolls all pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Ooh. Sweet room. What this? I don't have my controller at the ready! I'm sorry! <laughs> this must be the key to the room. I can... That was... This must be the key to the room. There we go. My name's written on the keychain. Which means it must be mine, right? Better hang on to it for now. There's a piece of paper. Why did I think it was a knife? There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall, which says... F2 is the backlog, by the way? Ah, okay. Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. Well, what the fudge is that? Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a toolkit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools would should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. What's this thing? Some kind of lint roller, I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? Wow. Trapping us here and not even cleaning up after us. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Security camera in the room. How stupid. A surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the camera, so I'd better make sure I don't touch it. If we can go through the windows again. There's some kind of metal plate mounted here. Yeah, no duh. Bed. There doesn't seem to be anything in particular strange about the bed. Hold on. Why is the bed not flush against the wall? Why is it in front of the desk? What kind of room layout is this? Keeps you everything you interact with. Tab. Oh, I missed something over there. Looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. Must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. Trash can! My house! Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. All that's in the trash is the paper I wadded up and threw away. Nice! <laughs> uh, okay, two more things. Just the school is here. Yeah. I got a monitor. Anything I'm missing? Oh, there's another door. God, that noise is so loud. What is this? Looks like this door leads to the outside. It's locked. Some of the rooms have locks, huh? What, this door? This bathroom? This would appear to be the bathroom. Oh, it's not opening. I guess it's locked. Well, I have my key. I think I'm starting to understand this room must be... Anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This this is my assigned dorm room. I don't understand how it's taking us 
this long to figure this out. I'm still upset my room with the Airbnb to have a lock. It's okay, we'll get an uh, we'll get a better Airbnb next time. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. Next question is What's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. Nothing new. Okay, let's go. Leave the area. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others, but there was something waiting for me there. Forgot y'all hang out. Well, we we went to AX together. I am on the other side of the country from them normally, but I went I went on a plane, so it was like something out of an old TV show. Wham! Oh, did I just run to Saika? Yup. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Oh, Saika? Sorry. Are you okay? I forgot that's how we sound. I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Ew. It's <laughs> great moving up. Yeah, hugging is not an ew. Are you okay, Saika? Are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good, then. But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you. That's true, I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. No, not hugging. The main character voice, yeah. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right in from the beginning. Makoto? Oh, uh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. That's good. I was kind of worried. But thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Um. I actually came to get you. Oh my god, hydrate again. Why are you guys trying to drown me today? My god. <laughs> Came to get me? Um, listen. Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. I'm red now. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we've each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? Whoa, it's very cute. Rude. Rude. Whatever. <laughs> so does that mean it's almost time to get back together? I already read that. If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good, I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall, then. Oh, back to this again, okay. Yakuya, who am I? Where's my room? Oh, we're right next to each other, cool. Who am I across from? Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Check the map. Oh, I can see everyone. <laughs> of course the guy over there is the, on the flipping edge, of course. Oh wait, there's, there's more rooms here, I didn't even notice. Oh, of course Kyoko's right next to me. And Kyotaka as well. Okay. How do I go down? Um... I'm guessing it's this way? This is... Work and knife! Is this the dining hall? Yes. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um... Kyoko can't read a map. I s Looks pretty clean, so that's good. Uh, I guess that's not really important right now. Just being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> hmm, okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. I guess I don't have to read that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit back. Oh god, I just ran over my cord. Uh oh. 
No, headphones, please. Oh, God. Here we go. Hold on, I gotta realign now. There we go. Oh, God dang it. What? Have I been pinged somewhere? What the heck? Ah! Arrgh. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay. Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have to admit, really, Maddie? How did you know I tapped into our DMs? How? Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I have an amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? It's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes the tutorial! Right now, I'd like to talk about reactions! You're gonna be talking to Saika, right? Well, while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Excuse how they work. <laughs> okay. Oh, are you familiar with I shouldn't have done that. Well, just in case, let me switch. Thank you. Thank you. When purple words show up, if you press the right mouse button, you'll go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use the WSD buttons to make a selection, and then the left mouse button to confirm it. When it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Okay. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life. Why was that purple? Ah, you... Have you gone ahead and used it already? Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps on moving forward. What else is around here? What was that? Why is it, like, there for a second? Oh, it's because I can't go that way anymore. Oh, I see. Well, I guess I do have to talk to you. Hey, um... By the way, Makoto. Oh, what is it? Um... Well, it's just... I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing. But I wanted to ask you something. Continue our self-introductions. Uh, um... Kinda got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Saika so wants me to ask me something? I wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. Okay, let's go. Hey, um... By the way, what um... is it? Oh, well, it's just... I know this is kind of... One to ask. Oh wait, can I choose? Oh, I can choose. Okay. What'd you want to ask me? Hmm. Okay, did you happen to go to the... to Black Root Junior High? Or you may be in Class 2? Yeah, actually, I was. I knew it! I went there too, I was in Class 4, though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was, that she remembered me! We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um... Hey, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course I'd remember. Well, that's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. <laughs> What are you talking about? You're so strange. Strange? That's... <laughs> Just started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers had made my heart feel calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever... Okay. That's good. Ow. Anyway, I'm really glad that, that I know somebody here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. <laughs> But you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Stop <laughs> I'm just reading the dialogue, okay? Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. Thank you for helping me out. I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Maddie. I think you've got competition, Maddie. Oh. Not you, <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, Maddie, um... 
Hmm, I think I understand why you like her so much. Maybe because she perhaps relates. Oh, my assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it, it just gets me pumped up. Which is nice, but still, everyone else is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. I see a clock around here somewhere. So, uh, what time is it right now? Seven o'clock at night? Uh, um... You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. I have to stay out in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. I could throw open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Hey! Ah, Makoto! Sayaka, so you two got here first, huh? How unfortunate. Too bad, I was sure I'd beaten everyone here. <laughs> I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Just a shell always prevail. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in, one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting! Okay. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. Oh my god, so much talking. <laughs> Wait, hold on a sec. What are you talking about? What's wrong? Hmm. What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl. <gasps> uh, oh yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? He's not here. What? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um... I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? Everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up? Why isn't Kyoko the first to go missing? Why am I, or my, my, my doppelganger, the first to go missing? Yes, indeed. Yeah, I think how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As simple as that. I feel like you're obligated to have Kyoko as your favorite. Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. I've already read that. That's a flashback. Is it possible? Is she really? No, no. I'm just overthinking things. Obviously. Oh boy, I just title and ran with you. I just saw title and ran. I'm guessing that's supposed to be I just saw the title and ran here. Hi, Winter! Hello. Darn it, Kyoko, you're really going to be late like this on the first day of school. Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? What do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now that I declare that the first session of the Hope Speak Academy briefing meetings has begun. Um. You're gonna have a fun game, oh boy. Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. You know, what's up? <laughs> I feel like I really have become your personal. Maddie! <laughs> Maddie! Why do I. I'm really starting to get why you like this character a lot. <laughs> For those who don't know, Maddie is really wanting to be my assistant in life because of how much I screw things up. <laughs> I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, oh, you've already done so much as my assistant. Oh god, so much talking. My voice is already starting to go. Uh, my guy, everyone's here except except you. Oh my god, everyone's flipping here. Oh my god. Uh... Pain. Okay. Well, 
I don't even know what would count as right to left in this scenario. It's 3D. Press tab. Okay, so Sayaka is really the only important... Oh, I can't even talk to any everyone. Okay. Oh, thank God. I literally could only talk to Sayaka. Okay, thank God. Make this people blues objects. Okay. Okay, so since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone's split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... You see. Yakuya and Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko. Let's start with Byakuya. <laughs> yeah, the first bit is a little confusing, but you'll get it. Okay. I want to try and find some clues as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all for me. <clears throat> really? That's it? <clears throat> if I'd uncovered anything, naturally I would have more to say, but I didn't, so I don't. Uh, right, understood. Alright, let's go again. You see. No! God! Go back! What was the F2? Okay, fine. We'll go and do one of these. We'll go and do this one first, then we'll go back. We went all up and down the school, double-checking the windows and all the hallways and classes. I wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was... Hmm. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Couldn't get a single one to budge, even a little bit. And yes, there's a ton of that, like, oh god, my voice is good. I might need to do this with, like, little breaks here and there just so my voice can recover between streams of this. My god. I've never talked- I've never read this much before. <laughs> All dialogue is worth it. The fully voiced segments, okay. Can you beat a single to budge even a little what bit? Hmm. Oh my god. There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, 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 bad. It really sucks. This sucks. I'm not gonna repeat that. What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on. God damn, calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. All right, back we go. You see. Right click, arrow keys, bam, bam. <laughs> I spent some time looking around the dormitory and... Listen to me. There, I made the discovery of the century. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Oh. Oh, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Yeah. Your store already had a nameplate on, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Huh. And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name... Precision etched onto it. Precision etched onto it. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is, in fact, my room. And plus. And Chihiro and I found that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um. Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also has a private bathroom, which could also lock. Mm. But it looked like there were only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. When I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, come on. Yeah, Kyoko, pay attention to everything said. I am. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. Oh my god. <gasps> my god. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Quiet down and listen. Well, better to have than have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. That can't be all you have to report. Can you- can it? That can't be all you have to report, can it? I can't speak! That can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor Student? Got it. That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. Um, Alright. You see. Lena, yeah, we did that all together. Same goes for Hina, Sakura, Mondo. The last Toko and Kifumi were left over, so they joined us. 
We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. Yo. I went back to the main hall, thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? But e even with what? soccer and... Shut up! Even with soccer and me bold, it wouldn't budge. We did it with desk chairs and nothing. <sighs> Shit. It was hard as, like, metal. Maybe because it is! Yes, I was about indeed. to say no S. <laughs> well, yes, it is metal. Thank you! This sucks. Anyway, if we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be through there. So I have to just cry. But no, I have to hold it in. Oh my god. Too much reading. I have to manage my hydration. So then. I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But... But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. Hmm. In other words, at this point, we are only able to search the first floor. However... We can as further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there is at least a chance it may lead to a way out. Ah, okay. Um... Okay, back to doing this. Okay, Ataka, Leon Hero, Johnny Juro. Alright, here we go. These are like the last ones, right? Let's see. Honk, hydrate, thank you. God, I'm almost out of drink. And I'm almost out of water, too. If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted. I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Most unfortunate. Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around a school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong after with you? After a bathroom break after this? Nope. What the hell were you thinking just sitting around the gym the whole time? <laughs> well, it's not like any of... You invited me to come along. Somebody said, hey, come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. What the? You don't have to go with someone. You should have just said something. Does vodka count as water for the hydrate? <laughs> uh, no, because I'm too young. Also, hi, medic. <laughs> Forget it. Like, I don't want to go with the, Like, I don't want to go anywhere with a dirty... <laughs> What? Like you? Huh? What? <laughs> your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. Are you for real? I, I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Hey, come on. All right, guys. Everyone, just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now. You're fighting like sick. Sick. Sisters! I can't talk! I'm gonna- I'm probably gonna pause after- I pause for now because I'm losing my ability to read slowly. I don't think that's what's going on, Sakuya. Hey, Sayaka, hi. not Sakuya. That's a different character from a different thing. Sayaka. That's the name. Like I said, bathroom break. And then we'll do something else because I'm losing my ability to read. So that's what they have to say, huh? I guess I'm the only one left. Box that you see is broke. Please reboot. Yep. I guess I'm the only one left. Just remember, being nice costs you nothing, but being mean is also. <laughs> oh, but the good part is starting after this. Then we'll save the good part for next stream of this. Oh, fine. We'll keep going, I guess. Um, oh wait. Oh wait. Good. That was new stuff. God damn it. Okay. I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. I guess we don't have to worry about food, at least. I don't close it. Escape. What? Sure, for now, but even with all that, there were 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> Just eat sesame seeds or something. Huh? What am I, a parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. How do you know that? At least that's what Monokuma said. Mm -hmm. You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. Told me that, and then disappeared again. 
He is so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But... But was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything? <laughs> eat her? Get to the good part that... The, 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 get to the good part and then go on a break. Okay. Um, what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? <laughs> Come on, man! Hey, you bastard! <laughs> the hell, fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Actually... <laughs> Don't actually this! Not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Oh. Hey, stop screwing around, all of you! Because, yes, these first part is long on purpose. Oh, boy. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could just die at any second. Ugh, shit. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something, or... My voice got through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you are! Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yo! Yo! <laughs> Yoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you! It's not my favorite. I'm not gonna tell you who my favorite is yet, because I don't have one. Shouldn't say a word, instead she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of Pope's Peak Academy. A map? What the... Where'd she find this? Wow. It doesn't matter where I found it. What the heck? It does matter! You're too, you're really freaking us out right now! But more important... Never mind that. What's it mean? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hope Peak Academy. So what you're saying is this really is Hope Peak Academy. It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However... I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um... But then this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. Huh? So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future leader is supposed to come and learn? But... But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? <sighs> Hey, come on, guys. Let's just stop talking ab about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo. Worried? What's there to be worried about? Oh my God, this guy. I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope Speak put this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out my mouth. You know? Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> Your problem. Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I am just happy, that is all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We didn't find a way out, didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Oh. Huh? It's not crystal clear to you what's going on? Are you okay with this? It's perfectly obvious that we've been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. <laughs> didn't have to go and say that, I was trying not to think about it. No way out, we're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> Very simple. If you want to leave, you have to just kill. Stop it! Don't even joke about that. Uh Everyone, just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is, is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, 
We all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than a dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Let's see. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I'd like to make it official. But why? Are you okay with this? No, why? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. Mm -hmm. We will all be afraid someone might try and come kill us. Come kill us. Huh? What? <laughs> we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long. It'll wear us down in no time. I see. So are you suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preventative measure? Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like the little goth little Alita said. With thoughts something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. You can't do that. Yeah, hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. So everyone is in agreement? Good. <laughs> Then if you'll excuse me. Huh? Wait, where are you going? Let's see. It's almost night time. It is night time. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are well. So, goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. Um... I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what's next? One person already left. Um, well then, let's say we call an end to today's meeting. You understand? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. Oh, this sucks. So we have to just give up. That's all fine and good for today, but what do we do tomorrow? So in the end... Our only option is to split up and look around again, and let everyone know if we find anything. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Aww. Then we're done for today? Good, I'm exhausted. So with heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um... Code, are you ready to call a day? Yeah, let's go. Okay, I don't even get to say anything. Why don't we have a clock in our room? What? Why is that a thing? Why don't we have a clock in our room? This is really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future. Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks on them, right? Alright, let's open it up. It's no use. It really is locked. Okay. What the? Wrong! Not locked! Holy! Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Like some kind of robot bear ghost. What are you doing here? Makoto Naegi. This this super duper majorly this is super duper majorly bad, so it's all so bad it's almost magical. Ultra magical awful awful attack. Uh -huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason won't, it won't open is because it's locked? The door just doesn't fit? Hey, um... Did you see the notice? What? You can't... Can't you read? The bathrooms in the boys' rooms don't have locks. <laughs> I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Ba -bum, ba -bum. Well, it's not that... It's pointless, I guess, but I'm no expert on the birds and the bees. <laughs> Listen up! Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you! Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob and then lift up while you pull. Yes, indeed! Go ahead, give it a try! Turn the knob and lift the door up while I pull? When I did that, the door opened without a pro- Bruh. <laughs> Beat it opened right up! Isn't that crazy, though? Your door's the only one that doesn't quite fit right. <laughs> you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But looks like you're not lucky at all. Bye -bye. Maybe that's because I'm the ultimate unlucky student. 
Anyway, I certainly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! <laughs> hey, wait! Damn it. Monokuma? Hi. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Cool. Did I ask? <laughs> As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay, so the dining hall is the only place that's locked? Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. For now? Okay. Looks like it's nighttime. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try to get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly, I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I'd spent an entire day just staring at a TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've subtly been dropped into. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. It would be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream. It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. Monica Ma Theater? In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher, but when I think about what's coming up... I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope Speak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow. These are your dreams? Are you kidding me? Hi. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Wait, hold on, I gotta do some math here real quick. 10 to 7, that's... Yeah, that's 9 hours! Holy shit. <laughs> Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka, see if we can figure out where to go from here, together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna go I'm gonna head to her room. Hey, at least the bear lets you get enough sleep. Yeah, that's fair, but that's if it's actually nine or seven. With a newfound determination, I left my room. Oh. You're just out here. Hello. Hey! Good morning, Makoto. Uh, good morning. <laughs> yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Alright, where's Sayaka's room? Oh, right, over here. Sayaka! A bot! Oh, boy! Thank you. I was just about to do that. <laughs> There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess so I should use that. Ding dong! Hello? Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Oh, Makoto! Perfect timing! Huh? Um, listen. listen, I have a... A favor? Um... Haha, <laughs> bye-bye, bot. <laughs> I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure, where are you headed? Uh, um... Oh, um... I'm thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense?! Well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us at any time. You never know. 
or whoever tries to kill us. I'm gonna trap this here. Whoever presented us with rules for murdering each other. Whoever put us in this insane position. She's right. We'll never know when they might attack. Um... So I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. I want to protect herself. Well, now that I think about it, the display case in the gym entryway had a bunch of stuff. Maybe... <laughs> oh, the gym? Okay, let's go. <laughs> Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing control. You say that every time. Am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, we should head to the gym. For anyone who just hates walking around school, we've got some good news! You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook menu. It's as simple as opening the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to the hallways and marked waypoints. But you can't teleport to places you haven't been, or places that are blocked off. And depending on certain story moments, there will be times when you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you could get lost. Forever. Well then, good luck and have fun. <laughs> Hi, you are tall. Or I'm very short. I think I'm just short. Or they're tall, I don't know. Where am I? Oh wait, what's the map? F1, right? Yeah. Uh, hallway, first floor, main area. I guess that's where I have to go. Oh wait, behind me. Makoto is super short. Oh, okay. Good to know. Okay, so... That's where I go. Despair Hotel, okay. Uh, where were we going again? Oh yeah, that's right, over here. Oh, hello. Oh, there's people here. Oh, I'll talk to people. Talk it together with the with those other two. Quite a combination. What's your problem? What do you want? You look like you have something to say. Oh no, I was just thinking that you three make a pretty unique team. <laughs> Let me make this perfectly clear. Me hanging out with two people who have muscles with where their brains should be is not by choice. Just a second. Wow, that was super mean. Mm -hmm. Usually you were complaining how nobody invited you. That's the only reason I asked you to come with us. Mm -hmm. I never asked you to do that. Stop trying to drag me farther into your meat bitch. <laughs> Jeez, I can't believe she just ran off. You think we should go after her? Wait. We shouldn't press her any pressure her any further. No. Oh yeah, good point. They like water and oil anyway. It'd be weird if they did get along. Hello. Hey, you Makoto. It's so funny. Yeah. Well, look who it is. Sup, guys? What are you up to? Yeah. We're picking up where we left off yesterday. I'm really hoping we find something today. If we do, I'll be sure to let everyone know ASAP. And then you... Hello. Hmm. We have to find some way out of here no matter what. That's why you went with Hina and Toko? However. Well, Hina's the one that invited Toko. I have trouble talking to people directly. Uh, understandable. Uh, where... Yeah, over here. Oh. What is this? Oh, first ad. Okay. Okay. Anything else here? No. I told you to show up, but I've never played this game myself. I've only seen others play it. So there's lots of text I haven't seen. Oh. Here we go. I might be able to find something here to protect myself with. Yeah, I'm for I'm sure I'll find something in the display case I can use. I guess I have to look at the display case. Well there's a giant sword! Is this a sword? Oh no, I think it's just a replica. Still pretty impressive. It's completely covered in a gold coating. But. 
Jeez, I hardly touched it and I got all that gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um... Oh, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um... You should take it with you. It might help liven up your room a little. I think so. <laughs> but I guess you better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. You'll protect me? Thank you for saying that. If I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Okay, Makoto is six foot three in size because five foot five. And it was that much of a difference. <laughs> Why is Makoto so short? <laughs> Sega giggled as she said that that mysterious smile. Will you protect me too, Yoko? Sure. Taka is five foot nine. Okay, well, I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then, but as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Okay. Talk? Um... um. I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me, too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. The tallest is Sakura. Six foot four. They're even taller than me, IRL. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> stare off into space? Oh, but you're probably super bored, just standing around doing nothing. Um. Oh, no, it's not that it's boring, it's just... I... I've never really done it before, I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. Hey, um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have a dream? <laughs> well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. Um. I, my dream is... I always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. But that's not the tallest character of the main game characters. The tallest is in... These... Volume 3 at 6 foot 6. Another bot? Dang, Maddie, you are... You got that fast trigger finger. My god. <laughs> there have been an abundance of bots recently. My god. I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. Down with the bots! <laughs> I grew up without a mother, you know? My dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know? So I was really lonely. That all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess. She could sing and dance. I learned how to use the mod controls, but let's go. <laughs> but more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> you smack them bots to beats. Yee. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. It's so amazing, though. You were actually able to fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? You see. I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off your dream. Not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream. Whether you're awake, whether you're asleep. To make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it, no matter what. I need to draw my two sleeping dinos in my game. <laughs> Do it. Um... In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you'll get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. Is it really that tough? 
Is it not fun at all? Oh no! Don't get the wrong idea, it's super fun. But that's exactly what scares me. Uh, um... I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Both ironic to be part both ironic to be carnivores, a T-Rex named King, and a Postosuchus Whatever how you pronounce that, named Gem because they're an emerald skin. <laughs> Well, them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together. It's brought me so much happiness. But that's why... But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end. And everyone goes their separate ways. Sayaka... Say I keep getting it mixed up. Sayaka... And I'm officially out of water. No one redeem hydrate. <laughs> I'm out of everything. I have no drink. <laughs> she is trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard. Sacrificed so much. To get where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. You see. So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? What do you mean? And yes, this game really hits with the reality, because God, is that so true than that? Yeah. Uh, um... Well, they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. <sighs> While I'm in here, the outside, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still, Sayaka, Why? Why? I can't afford to be stuck in here. That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. Sounds desperate, but I can understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine it. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to complain. Um. And I killed the mood, huh? No, not at all. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, Saika? Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So... Okay. You want me to make us something to eat? I might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. You mean the condiment? <laughs> Just kidding. She burst out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. How'd it happen so fast? It's almost like a mask, some kind of neutral expression. Huh. Anyways, we headed to the dining hall to get something to do. Oh my god, my jaw is starting to hurt from talking so much. I've never had to read so much before. Before returning to our rooms. We, we went back already? Sword! <laughs> the only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left for the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Yes. I don't know what I'm doing. As you live out your school life here, you will be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events, and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which will prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen as many friendships as you can. 
Also, keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. If you prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep to skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then... Anyway, why don't you try it out by spending some time with Miss Sayaka Maizono? She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? Hmm. Okay, are we anywhere close to the good part? Tell me. I'm curious. Yes? How close? Because, um, this is the good part? What do you mean, this is the good part? Free time is the good part? Can I go in the bathroom? <laughs> it's right after, I believe. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'll keep going, then. Oh, my God. My brain is melting. My jaw is hurting. Every time it's right before the plot happens each chapter, basically. You know, why? What, Maddie? We'll take your break now? Okay, fine. We'll do that real quick. I'll be back. I'm gonna go grab a snack and rest my jaw, so... I'll be back in, like... 20-30 minutes? Yeah. I'll be back. Uh... Oh, I'm not muted. Oops.
Bah. I'm back. Yeah, well. I'm here now. I've finished my break. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> my plan worked. <laughs> anyway, uh, we left off here. Uh, leave the area? Yes. <clears throat> so apparently free time, and then it's the good part, which means I can stop. Uh, so what were we doing again? Oh yeah, it's free time. I don't have to do any- Ah! ah! It's okay, I don't take that long. I tumbled to the ground, yeah. Was it, was it, was, let's go let's go back to Sayaka, why not? I guess let's refresh the doorbell. Um, listen. Hi! You know Makoto, I'm so anxious, I really am afraid. Should I talk to Sayaka for a while? Yes! Um. You're going to try and cheer me up? Why am I being DM'd? Sorry for making you take time out of your day like this. I did my best to comfort Sayaka. Good. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sayaka a present? I don't have one. that me showing that you made a little dino Oh yeah, I saw that in the Discord. That's cute. I do not really know. Makoto, do you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal? I... Well, it's just... I guess that was kind of formal, but... Just because I know I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Um, if you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. But that's why... I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but I'm relieved you're with me. The first free time you can get away with no present. Oh, okay. Sayaka. Standing here face to face and hearing her say that. Nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. <sighs> really? <laughs> thank, thank you for the flattery. That smile. That damn smile. <laughs> oh, that mysterious smile. I was close. <laughs> that softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. But it's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity, I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um... Because I looked at you all the time! Huh? Huh? That's my reaction, huh? <laughs> I... I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. Wanted to talk to me? But... So I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Uh... Do you remember during our first year of junior high, that huge bird wandered into the part? Into the, 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 the part school, yes. The school pond? But now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. Mm. It was like out of a fairy tale. The turtle wants every million years, that bird wants every thousand. A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been... Am I supposed to know this? Cause I don't! <laughs> um... What did you have for snack? I had some toast and jelly. But am I supposed to know this? Or am I just supposed to guess? Cause I don't remember. What's a large bird? I know a sparrow is like a tiny bird, but I've never... Okay. You're supposed to know if you're smart about birds. Okay. Then... Cranes. <laughs> Cranes are... Cranes are... Friggin' huge. <laughs> it was a crane that just walked right into the okay. pond. That's right, that's what it was. It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. 
Well, you led it into the forest behind the school. You have to find its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. They made me do it. You see. I should have said thank you then, but is it okay if I do it now? Thank me. I... I'm not Crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured. Honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, even just once. I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we'd met again at a train station somewhere downtown, that'd make, that'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. I... Maybe, but still, I'm sure you'll help me find my way out. Just like that crane. You saved me. You see? It's just intuition, I know, but I still believe it. Going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm psychic. Stop saying that! <laughs> <laughs> hitting, hitting, you say that every time. She laughed out loud as she said it. The closer we get, I didn't have to. The closer we get, the stronger the smile of her, the smile of hers makes me. I was glad to feel that way. Psychic's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You just unlocked the skill Melodious Voice. Give yourself a pat on the back, you earned it. Once we're all done, I head back to my room for a little while. What time is it? Oh. Well, that was quick. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Yeah, like one chance to do something and then back to your room. Oh, okay. So it has already come to an end. I swear. Tomorrow I'm going to find some kind of clue. I swear! Why do I have a feeling that's actually going to happen? As my eyelids began to slide closed, as the conversation I've had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's, un she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into this school the way I did. So I can't say I feel things the way she does. Compared to her? No, compared to everyone else here. There's no doubt, I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. Not again! <clears throat> so, I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun, but... There's still room for a little laughter. Seems our newest students are already so filled with despair still have some hope of escape. <laughs> so when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Excitement. Bing dong, bing bong. Hello, Marukuma. There you are. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Is that going to happen every time? Morning has come. I think this is the part. Okay. What should I do today? Free time again. What? <laughs> Yeah, who do I talk to? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Is there anyone around? No. Who do you like the most? I don't know yet! I don't really have a favorite yet. 
But I kind of like the guy who's just chill with the with the funky hair. Where where is he? I want I want to go talk to him. You know. I have to go scout for some. Where's the where's the guy with the funky? Oh, he's all the way over there. Oh, I can sprint. Where are you? There, Yashi, Yash, Yashihiro, Yashihiro. Yeah, that's right. This is Hero's room. I don't really have anything to talk to him about. Right? Oh, so it's not really free time if I can't talk to anybody. Is it Saika? Saika. Who do I talk to? What free time is it? So free. It's on the map in the handbook. Wait, what? What's on the... You check the map. It's just where people are. Oh, oh, hello. Jeez. Where did you come from? Mm. Hello, did you need something? Just like that. Oh, wait, no. I want to go see who else is around. I didn't think that. I forgot I'm in free time and I'm not just wandering around. Uh, okay. Where are... Where are he? Where is he? Who's in their room right now? Who is that? That's Toko, okay. Uh, then I gotta figure out a way to get out of here. Rescue, you need to switch floors. Ah! I did not know that. Or switch areas, I guess. Alright, where are you? Nope. 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 Ah, there he is. I need to go there. Oh, and that's right outside. Okay, perfect. I just need to find that door again. Oh, it's right over there. He's like the only one that I've really kind of like right now. Like just this, like as a friend. He's he's cool. He's chill. Where is he? He should be right here, right? What? I'm like, I wonder who you need to chat with. <laughs> of course, you like. What weird man? Why is he called that? I just wanted to talk to him. This blackboard belongs to us now. Okay. You, hello. I'm right, right? I mean, this school is totally elite and unique, right? So maybe this is normal for them. What do you think, Makoto? Yes. Yes. Well? Want to go grab a bite to eat in the dining hall? I'll teach you where all the best spots are. Well, the best power spots are. Oops. Hero taught me all about the about all the best water power spots. <laughs> What? <laughs> Hero and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to eat I don't have one! Am I supposed to be getting these? <laughs> like, do I have one? Am I losing my mind? Do I have one? Don't worry about it until chapter two. Okay, cool. Good to know. Oh, wait. I clicked, I clicked yes. Oops. Never mind. Yeah, sure. I don't have anything. Oops. Could it be? Hey, Makoto, you know what I think? You and me meeting like this? It wasn't a coincidence. Yeah, I came to find you. Hmm. So I've got some good news for you. I'm gonna give you a psychic reading at a huge discount. Discount? How about that? Normally it's a thousand bucks for two hours, but for you, let's call it nine hundred. Huh? only a hundred dollar discount and even then it's way too expensive be mean. Yeah, come on you should count yourself lucky that the ultimate clairvoyant is willing to tell you your future so are you right pretty often well i sure am at the bare minimum i've got a 20 percent chance of accuracy that's what clair that's what clairvoyant yeah 20 percent. that sounds pretty sketchy what the heck Real, don't make that face. Didn't you hear what I said? 20% of the time, I'm right every time. That includes natural disasters, election results, you name it. Don't you realize how amazing that is? Um. How about that? Okay, fine. I'll give you a special trial run. After all, I've already seen what the future has in store for you. What? When did you see well? it? <laughs> you won't believe what I saw. It would appear that the mother of your children and the mother of my children are the same woman. I highly doubt that. I refuse. Denied. Don't like it. I'm right, right? 
doesn't matter if you don't like it. That's just the way it is. 20% accuracy, you said? No. At least. I pray to everything holy, holy that you're wrong. Please be wrong. What? <laughs> now then, since that was a special try run, I'm afraid I can't apply the discount. That'll be $1,000. Please don't worry. You can pay me after we get out of here. Oh, wait, hold on. There's no way. There's no way you're going to be right. Right? Hmm. If you don't... If you like, I can do a reading right now to see whether my reading was, white, was right or not. <laughs> Naturally, additional fees will apply. <laughs> Think about it, okay? Let me know as soon as you're ready for my services. <laughs> oh, he's gone. He just faded into nothing. Do I have enough in my bank account to, make it, to take another crack at it? No, I can't bring myself to pay for something like that! I can see how people could fall into that kind of cycle, though. That was close. Please, whoever's listening, I'm begging you, whatever else happens, don't let him be right! This report card has been updated based on your experience with him. <laughs> you just unlocked the skill Lost in Thought. Give yourself a pat on the back, you've earned it. What do those skills do? Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. What time is it now? So lots of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Because I feel like this, there's, this entire day is not just going to be free time. Oh, hello. You're here now. <laughs> Out for a walk, Makoto? I wouldn't mind if you invited me along. Eh, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Let's go for a walk. I think it'll help cheer us both up. After that encounter I had with Hiro, I enjoyed a long, leisurely walk with Sayaka. Can I grow a little closer? I don't have any! Listen, may I ask you just one question? So polite again, what's going on? Did you get scared? No. So polite again, what's going on? Um... And so polite again, I'd like to ask... Do you have... Oh, scarred. No. <laughs> Also, what the hell is this kind of question? <laughs> what? That's like way out of nowhere. Huh? You embarrassed? Does that mean you do? No, I don't. A girlfriend? Not at all. Um, listen. I'm not gonna answer that, Maddie. Then do you at least have a crush on someone? Just wait a second. What's going on here? Why are you asking all, all these questions? <laughs> I was just curious, so I thought I'd ask. Is that bad? It's not bad. It's, it's not that it's bad. I... But it's only natural that I'd be curious, right? Because we're... We're... <laughs> we're classmates going through the same thing together. Classmates. What? Although, that's not all there is to it. You and I are more than just classmates. More than that? <laughs> we're friends! We've been friends since middle school, in a way. That's true. Yeah, we're, we're friends, of course. Uh, um... So, aren't you going to ask me? Huh? What? Um, listen. No, not what. Aren't you going to ask if I have a boyfriend or not? It's not like I don't want to know. Of course I want to know. You're really popular, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Uh, no. Nope, I definitely don't. She says I'm way too busy for things like that. Then, do you have a crush on someone? <laughs> I wonder. Let's just say there's someone I'm interested in. Hmm. Wait. Me? What? But I need to put those feelings aside for now. Getting out of here is all that matters. Maddie, why are you messaging me? Maddie! <laughs> God damn it, Maddie. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Hey, um... It's good to have here together, Makoto. No matter what. Please don't turn your back on me, okay? Of course, I never turn my back on you. Uh, um... I want you to know something, Makoto. And I want you to know that I mean it. I can't fake my feelings. That's good. I'm really glad you're here. When she smiled at me like that, I could feel my entire body filling with power. It was like her smile was a source of pure energy. My friendship with her is my one source of courage. My bond with her makes me stronger. So I have to do my best in here. 
for myself and for Sayaka. <laughs> I'm so happy you're going to do your best for me. What? You heard me! Like I said, I'm psychic. How many times are we gonna hear that goddamn voice line? Okay. Just kidding. I just have really good intuition. Oh, no, 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 no. But is that really what you were thinking? Um, well... Anyway, let's just have each other out and get out of here. No matter what it takes. I'm gonna do my best for okay. sure. Yeah, you're right. We need to work together and do our best. I'm gonna do my best. I carved those words into the walls of my soul. Oh, I got two achievements. Fill filled in every page of Psyker's report card. Maximum number of skill points has increased. What are skills and how do I use them? I'm not gonna suck at my all. I went back to my room. Is it time for the thing to happen yet? Or is this entire day just free time? Oh, it's night time. That entire day was just free time. What? We didn't even have a meeting or anything? <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the oh, dining no, hall will be okay. locked. And entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. The third day here has already come to an end. When will I... No. We. When are we gonna get out of here? Don't be dissing free time, it's the best part. Yes, but when's more story gonna happen? <laughs> I laid on my bed and stared blankly at the ceiling. And before I knew it, I'd fallen into an uneasy sleep. Not again! Is this every time? Car. I need an immediate fast acting pick me up. If it doesn't act now, it's, it's the same as giving it to regret. What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course. That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than the curve or an angle. First style is better than the backstroke or the that stroke. <laughs> I think my mind read that wrong at first. Drive through is better than sit down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. What I'm saying is, speed is the gold standard of the standard road. Did you just... I, I read it wrong at first, and my brain was just like, you know what? Just skip over it. <laughs> Which is why I said I need that pick-me-up. Meanwhile, 0 0.000002 seconds later. My brain, I think, censored it at first, and it was just like, you know what? When I realized what it was, I was like, you know what? Just skip over it. I'm not even going to try anymore. <laughs> Ding dong, bing bong. Is this the same thing every Good time? Good morning, everyone! You know it is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Thank you for reading the ding dong, bing bong. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, wait. I woke up to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Another night of restless sleep. Day after day, I could feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as the thought had crossed my mind... Ding dong. The sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Oh, someone's here then. Hey. Hi! A fantastic morning, isn't it? Taka? Hmm. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption. Without waiting for a reply, Taka barged into my room. Hi. What's up, Taka? No matter how intensely the stormy seas may batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? 
Um, I'm not sure I understand. Without a doubt. And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you and you can support them back. You hear me? That's how you can overcome any storm. I was thinking about it last night and I decided we all need to really come together. And that was when I realized Every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. Quiet down and listen! Okay! <laughs> and now is the beginning of that fateful day. Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. Got it! That's all for now. I have to go get every- I have to go let everyone else know the good news. Paka didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could say a thing. Well, I guess I'd better head to the dining hall. Finally! Content! <laughs> anyone else around? No, everyone... Oh, no, you're around. Okay, where's the dining hall? Over here. Do -do 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 -do. Take me in, please. My god, everyone's here. Okay. <laughs> Can I talk to everybody? Oh my god! Everyone! Too much reading! <laughs> Fine, we'll go right to left. But what even? Fine, right to left. Okay. Start with you. But more important. Okay, okay, if I absolutely must talk to you, let's just hurry up and start the stupid meeting. Okay, so it's all just small talk. Okay, good. We can skip it! I hit that thing. How did I manage to miss Taka? <laughs> okay, it looks like everyone's here, so let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen. Okay! <laughs> everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. I didn't make time for shit, you dragged me here. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but in order to get, us, in order to get out of here, it's essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat. You want me to eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that before, I'm not sure. I mean, seriously? Yeah, it's been a while for me too. But more important. Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence that goes through the dining hall. Great. Seriously? Nothing at all? Hey! Anything. It could be about how to get out or who's doing this. Nobody has anything? Are you okay with this? You are going to die. Huh? Damn. Huh? Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it! Hell, don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I'm not joking. Adaptability is survivability, did I not say so? So you'd better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, what? sounds like the girl wants to live here. And hell, more power to her. But shit. Piece of shit. No way. No way in hell am I living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Sure, feel free. Okay, so nobody has any clues? What the heck? One thing I could tell you is who's behind all this. Somebody... Uh, so one thing I could tell you is who's behind all this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. Why else would he be trapped in here in the first place? Hey, listen. Well, sure, it could be something like that, but for right now, actual clues are... Uh, um... Aww. What's up? Um... I think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre, do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous fiend? Murderous fiend. Shira, do you have some idea who might be behind all this? Mm. Well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but... Certainty is not a concern right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you may have. You know? Okay, well... Have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? <laughs> what a name! You mean that serial killer that's been in the news and all over the internet? The 
monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashion. Thank you for the hydrate. I needed it. The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's likely he's like a ghost. He strikes without a warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him <laughs> Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. They say he's claimed over a thousand victims. That's just an urban legend though, right? I mean, even like ten people would be totally insane. Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. And if he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. But... but like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything. It's just a thought. Hey, hold on. But if they're the killer, isn't that like the killer of a problem for us? Yeah. It's okay. Everything's absolutely positively 100% without a doubt going to be okay. Because help's going to be here soon. I'm sure of it. Help? We've been stuck in here for a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. What's this? The police? You're putting your faith in the police? <laughs> what are you doing here? You guys. Seriously? Do you not understand what role the police exist to fill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil organization. The bad guys, the bad guys come along and destroy them, and that just shows how badass they really are. Are you sure you want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? I mean, come on! If you really, really want to get out of here, all you gotta do is kill. <laughs> what the hell? Why the hell are you laughing? You know, I'm just impressed at the total co commitment to this whole act. Come on. You're still going on about that? You're fucking dead. <sighs> no, Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard. What the hell do you want? Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard? Huh? That's a pretty long name. German, maybe? Hey, come on. We know who you really are. Mm, maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. You son of a bitch. Hey, don't ignore me, asshole. Mm. Okay, okay, let's get back to business. Your life here has already begun, and a couple days have gone by, and nobody's killing anybody. Mm. I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together, but I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. Wait, I think... Yes! Ding, ding, ding! I figured it out! In other words... All the mystery ingredients are here, right people, right place. So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand, but I just realized there was one very important piece missing. What are you... Ching! If you want to know, I'll tell you. It's a motive. <laughs> it's so simple, I just have to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking around. What if the hell are you talking? The, the frick are you talking? I'm not saying that word. I'm sorry. What the heck are you talking about? Hey, um. Oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. You son of a bitch! Stop changing the goddamn subject. Hmm. I have a little video I'd like all you to see. Hmm. Oh, but don't worry. It's not some. I, we weren't thinking that. It's a pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Outside the school? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. Why do you mean correct? Good, then we can go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know. What are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know. Just there. That's all. I didn't even have to read well. that. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out for yourselves. Hmm. Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hidden within this school. I won't try and stop you. <laughs> 
Because to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. So I guess I want amusement from you too. Um... He's gone. And once again, he left before we could find out anything useful. Is that right? Really? I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However... Perhaps, but what about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so... Mondo started glancing around the dining hall. When his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah! Hey, Mikado! The guy I beat up a couple days ago! Check this out for us, would you? Huh? Why me? Yo. Because you're the closest to the door. That's the rule, right? Rule? Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Piece of shit! Hey! Stop fucking around! You see how passionately I'm begging you? It's a big deal. Just check it out real quick. Okay, I guess I'll get going then. Hell yeah. Awesome, thanks. I owe you one. Not because I beat you up the other day or anything. Hey, um... If Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing. Then we're counting on the both of you. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come running. Um... I can't decide if Mondo's totally dependable or completely terrible. Me neither. <laughs> I can't decide either. Yeah, I'd have to say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person. But I definitely can't say he's a good person, either. So then, where's the specific place Monokuma mentioned? Must be somewhere we can watch DVDs, but... A place set up to watch DVDs, then... Um... Um... Uh... Oh, this doesn't help me at all. Hall, school store. What's the AV room? Like courtroom? Um, is it this AV room? I guess. We gotta head out. Go. AV room is for videos. Okay, so yeah, it is there. Cool. Uh, over here. So it's this way, and down here. Heavy room. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Box. Huh? There's something inside this cardboard box. It's a bunch of DVDs, and each one has a label on it with someone's name. This must be the video for each of us, he mentioned. Uh, hold on a second. I'd better go tell everyone. She just ran off. I didn't follow after her, I just stood right there where I was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. What, in the box? It's a cardboard box the DVDs were in. A monitor is this? Who would even make this kind of thing? It has Monica Mako written across it. I guess to cover covered all the details. Okay. Next to the monitor is a high-end DVD player. It'll probably play those DVDs, no problem. Maybe I'll just watch mine real quick before everyone else gets here. Sorted through the DVDs I'd found in the box and found the one with my name on it. Then I slid it into the expensive-looking player. I sat down and stared intently at the darkened screen and then... Finally, our first uh -huh. look at stuff outside. Ah. I yelled out without realizing it, and my heart started racing. Because what I saw on that monitor was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If it had ended there, that would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attempt Hope's Peak, it would have given me hope, given me strength. If, it, if this was a normal school, I would have been happy, a little embarrassed. With my family's support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here now, it was totally different. My god, the music changed. I wasn't living in an, or an ordinary school life. 
So I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. I hated having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. Huh? Oh no. This time I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Let everyone go. It's like a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came floating out of the speakers. I recognized the voice, of course. It was him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Speak Academy and his family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like Something's happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Look for the answer after graduation. What's this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me like hot magma. God damn it! I slammed my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How can I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Makoto? What happened? Make sure who's safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance of the Aver and they stared at me, faces full of confusion. Um... What's going on? Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. Is it like? Is that what Monokuma was talking about? What does this mean? What's on them? They all gathered around the box, and each of them grabbed the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the? What? Huh? But this can't be real, right? It has to be fake, right? Hey, hold on. Yeah, no way, it's real. <laughs> no way. I can't take it anymore. I can't take this anymore. Let me out of here. My god. The, the Monokuma got his despair, all right. As soon as I saw their reactions, I knew. They'd all seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Even now, she's totally calm. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to feel our desire to leave, so that we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It is the classic prisoner's dilemma. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war. Both countries want peace, and each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. Well, there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> that kind of sounds like us right now. Everyone says they'll work together, but in our hearts, we're all afraid someone might betray us. Hey. Don't put those awful thoughts in your in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You could say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just... What is this? What? Hey. This is exactly what Monokuma or whoever's behind this wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? <laughs> yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. So then. Okay, then maybe we should start by all just talking. Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, that'll help get everything out of our system. Mm. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Sayaka. What was in your video, Sayaka? What's your problem? What's wrong? Just hurry up and tell us. Sayaka? I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! Oh, she ran. She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. Huh? Saika? That's enough. Let her go. Thank you for the hydrate. Hold on. Open it. There we go. I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> Hate romantic comedies like this. 
I don't care what happens to her personally. What? It's because you're totally thoughtless. Um. I'm really worried. <sighs> so why don't you go do whatever you think you have to do? We don't all have to stick around together, right? I hope you are well. I swear, she seems like a robot. I might just be losing my mind, but she, Celeste seems like a robot. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways. But I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. I don't even want to talk to these people. I gotta go find Sayaka right now. Where could she have gone? She can't have gone far. She check around the school. Maybe if I just press F1. First Kyoko theory? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe she's a robot? I don't know. So everyone's in there. Is it not going to show me where she is? Probably not. That'd be too easy. Yeah, no, it's not going to tell me. Hmm. Maybe one of the classrooms? Hey, anyone in here? Oh, this is the classroom I woke up in. Oh, hey, you're actually here. Holy cow. I wasn't expecting that to be right. Okay. <laughs> I found her in one corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset or angry or... No. She didn't have any expression at all. There was nothing on her face that you could call emotion. It was as if her original mask had been stripped away. Sayaka, you okay? Uh, uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no. How could I possibly be fine? What did we do to end up like this? Why are they doing such terrible things to us? Come on out. Let me out of here right now. Here, could calm down. As she thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Huh? What's going on right now? <laughs> I understand. I know how you feel right now. And I think what might have happened to my family. But now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things really had happened... People out there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone. Right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. I knew I was trying to convince myself just as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself clear away the images that had been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And help might even come before that. What if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Sayaka? Oh, finally, I don't have to talk! Please, help me! Why? Her voice was small Why and shaky. What is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore! Sayaka. Finally, she raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Mikado. Can I... Can I believe what she said? Huh? That you'll help me get out? No matter what it takes? Absolutely! Mikado. He's the only one I could trust, so please... No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. What the hell was in your video? I still want to know. Like, did they all just see their own families, or did they see something else? And why the hell is Kyoko so, Kyoko so calm? I don't know. Why is Kyoko so calm? Hmm. Huh? 
of course I'll be there for you. No matter what, I'm always on your, I'm always on your side. I mean, you are my assistant after all. Makoto. Thank you. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. I get through this as long as you're here with me. Cuz I'm your assistant. Like you said, I'm your assistant. The smile I'd come to know so well returned to her face. Um, I'd rather not be trapped in a hellscape of a school. I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> Felt a little forced, but still, it was a huge improvement over how she was before. Hey. Not you! It's standing up! Wait, what does he mean by that? Really? I'm not even going to read this. I'm... <laughs> I don't want to read this. Come on. Do you even have to ask? <laughs> if it's what I think it is, I've never heard it referred to that before. <laughs> Get the hell out of here! What? Huh? What is going on right now? Damn it, well if you won't leave then tell us what the hell is up with those videos. What in the hell? What is this? What is happening? This is already a mature rated game. I'm pretty sure I'm fine. I pulled up my fist, took aim, and swung as- Don't! Don't blow up! I had never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life. I leaned back, channeling all my power, and let go with everything I had. Yeah. If I hadn't avoided your punch, you would have just violated school regulations. But boy, are you slow, 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 slow! I could have drowned a thousand dollar full course- I could have downed a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time it took you to finish your swing! Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonization, it's all lacking! Goodbye! <laughs> what the heck was that just now? He just wanted to mess with us. Well, for now, you want to just head back? Yeah. Monokuma had come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood we just created. Saika and I headed back to the dorms. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you should get some rest, Saika. You still look pretty shaken. Sorry. Sorry for making you worry so much about me. You're right, I'm gonna go lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. Now on my own, I headed off to tell everyone that Sayaka was okay. Once that was done, I decided to go back to my room. It was hard to think after watching that deranged video. I needed some rest of my own. It was just this stuffing, Yoko. But in the context, it was made to seem like an innuendo. You can't tell me otherwise. They did it on purpose. Jeez, seriously, what the hell is going on here? There's just so many problems. Can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here? That what I saw in that video might be real? Monokuma? What the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here, but I can never kill someone. Do the others all feel the same? 
Yeah, that's definitely our biggest the biggest problem right now. Okay, and I think we're gonna stop here because it's all, we're already four hours in, and I'm tired of her. Oh wait, no, we're not done yet. Okay, ding dong. Huh? When I opened my eyes, they darted immediately to the clock. It's almost ten o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Nighttime's about to start. So how come someone's here? Hello. Oh, it's you. Sorry. Okay. I'm really sorry to come by so late. Sayaka? Hi. Sayaka, what are you doing out so late? When I noticed, her body was trembling. Play this bit, play this bit. How? My god, I, I want to sleep! <laughs> my voice hurts already. Her body was trembling. Is everything okay? It was so strange. Sorry to bother you, but... Something really weird just happened. Something weird? Just a little while ago, I was laying down in my room. And all of a sudden, my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. I was so scared. It was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. I was so scared I couldn't even move. Oh, hi, Sonata. <laughs> Welcome in. So what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by, then I got up and opened the door to check outside. Makoto. But there was nobody there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? Who would do something like that? I mean... It's not like I'm suspicious of anyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. What if something like that had happened in, in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, we can't go outside during night time. But that's just the promise we made, right? If someone decided to break that promise, then why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a little better? Huh? What? All it said in the school regulations was that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't state specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so... Hey, um... But two people sharing one room is... You know... Uh... Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I didn't even think about that. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. Um... No, I know. Me neither. Me either. It's not that I mind the idea, but... If you don't mind, could we just maybe switch rooms? Just for tonight? Switch rooms? If it'll help you put your mind at ease, then it's totally fine with me. But I don't mind you staying in my room, but... Are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't, like, concern you? <laughs> it's fine. I trust you. In that case, then... Ding dong, bing bong. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Mm. Oh man, it's already night time. Okay, so it's settled. I'll head to your room right now. Oh, if we're gonna trade rooms, we better trade keys, too. <laughs> oh, that's right, we'll have to trade keys. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. Huh. Hey, aren't you gonna say what you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? Something resembling a smile had made its way onto her face. Thank goodness, it looks like she'd already started to get back to normal. Okay, we better trade keys, then. Okay. Yep, let's do it. We exchanged keys, and when I looked back up at her again, there was another worried expression there. Um. Makoto, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open it no matter what. I won't. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. <laughs> even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, then lift up on the door while you pull it out. 
Just do that and the door should open, no problem. Okay, but the showers don't work during nighttime anyway, right? Oh, that's right, I totally forget that. <laughs> but I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I better get going. See you tomorrow, Sayaka. Hey, um... Oh, and about what I said before. Hmm? When I said I was psychic, it really was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. How long is this gonna go on for? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good night, then. See you in the morning. Saika gave me one last parting smile as I headed off to my room. I looked around as soon as I got out of the hall. Everyone else's doors were closed. There was no sign of life. Good, there's no one here. Making sure nobody was around to spot me, I rushed into Saika's room. The only thing that's different is the color. Okay, cool. <laughs> this is Sayaka's room. It doesn't look any different from mine. It smells nice, though. Okay, I'll be I'm not going to interact with anything. Everything's just going to be the same. The bed itself looks exactly the same, but knowing Sayaka slept on it makes me look forward to trying it out for myself. Nice. <laughs> Do I have to investigate everything? It's kind of weird to dig through other people's trash, but I couldn't help taking a quick peek. That's... there wasn't any doubt about it. It was the DVD with her name on it that we found in the AV room. That reminds me, I never did get a chance to find out what was in her video. But it's probably best if I wait until she brings it up again. Yeah, probably. What was the... Oh, it was the door, okay. TV. One of the monitors Monokuma appears on. I guess I shouldn't be surprised to find one in here, too. Ugh. What else is there? The security camera? A surveillance camera. It makes sense there'd be one in here. And then the drawer. The sewing kit. My room came with a tool kit, but Sayaka had a sewing kit, just like the note said. And next to it is the map of the body's vital organs. I did everything, right? Oh no, the bathroom! The war! The world! I remember right, all the girls' private bathrooms have locks on them. I'm guessing that's just a perspective thing. A little reluctant to go in. I don't think Psycho would like me snooping around too much. I should probably go to bed soon. As I lowered myself onto Psycho's bed, a pleasant fragrance enveloped me. Psycho's scent. <laughs> Maybe it'll bring me some sweet dreams. Feeling a little better than before, I fell asleep. And it's not a good thing. Okay. Imagine you're all in a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We've set sail and left Earth behind. Here you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthma-inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game. But even, but even our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I've made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow and live happily ever after together! No! Oh my god, when is gonna be a good time to pause? Is this... Have we gotten to the part yet? Ding dong, bing bong. It's almost time. Uh, you've been saying that! Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. I sat up, still half asleep, and rubbed my eyes. Slowly, I pulled myself out of bed. I remembered I was in Sayaka's room. I just remembered I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. I better get going. I left Sayaka's room and made my way toward the dining hall. Okay. Not everyone's here yet. A 
three people had already gathered at the dining hall by the time I got there. With the listen, right there. God damn it. <laughs> Hello, Makoto, and good morning. Can you believe it? I was the very first one here this morning. <laughs> good morning. Hey, Makoto. Morning. I suppose I'm early. I figured everyone who had arrived on time could be considered model high schoolers. And the ones who showed up a little late. Yo. Sorry. Sorry I'm late. My makeup just would not cooperate this morning. Ah, well, hello. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My morning duty took a little longer than usual. Where the types with a more relaxed sense of time. Most high schoolers fall into this category. And finally, the ones who keep everyone waiting forever. Yep. Indeed. I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My bad, my bad. I slept right through my alarm. What's your problem? What? Is it so awful to be late? Yo. I didn't oversleep. Why is auto still on? There we go. Just so you know. Nope. Got lost. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. Care about time or other people in general. They're kind. They're the kind to move their own play at their own pace. How are you still awake? I don't know. Everyone's telling me that a big thing's about to happen. But regardless, everyone had to wear Sayaka. Where is Sayaka? At least that's how it was supposed to go. Hmm. Wait, are we still missing some people? Oh yeah, Byakuya. Saika and Byakuya aren't here yet. I don't know about Byakuya, but I would definitely put Saika in the model high schooler category. So for her to be so late... What? What's going on? Did something happen? Yo. Hey man, have you seen Saika? <laughs> what would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Um... Did she forget about our breakfast promise? <laughs> I got the sense she always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small dark speck of unease rose up inside me. Whoa. And that speck started to grow quickly. I, I need to go. I have to check on her. I was barely left my lips before I flew out into the hall. Oh, don't tell me. Where I headed first was my room, where I'd let Sayaka stay for a single night. Where she was supposed to be safe. But over the course of that one night... Oh my god. Oh my god! What the hell? The room had been completely transformed. What the- what? That's exactly what I said! What happened? The key. There's a keychain on the ground. It has my name on it, so this must be my room key. I gave it to Saika when we traded rooms. So it was used! This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. It's been taken out of its sheath. More importantly, where is Saika? Bathroom? I better check the bathroom. Oh, we're first look in there. Oh no. Let's take a look inside. Oh no. Oh my god. What? F in the chat for the second best girl. What the fuck? Already? And yes, the U is supposed to be that color. I didn't even read that. It took me a second to realize that I was screaming. What I saw dug its way through my eyes and buried itself in my brain. And then... And then, everything went black. We're still chapter one? When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remembered seeing before. And when I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Oh, hello, everyone. 
You're awake. Finally, how are you? Are you okay? Now's no, no, now no time for sleeping. Get your ass up. Huh? Uh, um... You were unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. Well. Daily life to deadly life. Okay. It's broken into segments if you want to save and continue this later. You can't. Okay. No surprise considering what happened. What happened? Oh. Ugh. Um. Hey, are you okay? So it wasn't a dream. What I saw. It was real. <laughs> That's right. It really did happen. Sayaka is dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Saika is... If Saika is... Just give up. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Saika is completely and irrevocably dead. I thought... I, so I think this story segment... I think this story segment is gonna have fun. Okay. No, I have to see for myself. Listen to us, man. What do you think's gonna happen if you go out there? What good is it gonna do just sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging around, hanging out in the gym at a time like this? Our friend, Sayaka, she's... I don't know how to pause, Maddie. I'm gonna wait till I can get a chance. She's dead. It's F1. Ah, I'm guessing system? Okay, hold on. I, will, I at least want to get to a good stopping point in the dialogue. Okay, I... You know what? We're stopping. My, my voice... My voice just said otherwise. Save. Okay, so that that's good now? It's saved? Just check again. Okay, yep. Okay. My voice is gonna go soon, so I better call it. <laughs> All right, who's live? Who can we raid to? Well, we we still stream at the fun bit. Well, we'll play it again. We'll play it again. Oh, there's two. There's two. You know what? I know who we're raiding. Hold on. Uh, doo -doo, where are you? There you are. Ash, we're coming, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this here. What a wild freaking ride! I am invested now. But yeah, the prologue, the pro the prologue, <laughs> the prologue drags. No, it's, it's where the fun begins. Okay, but I'm gonna end here. Thank you guys for sticking with me here. Um, I'll probably do this again sometime either later this week or early next week. Uh, I do want to give my voice a rest. I may not be alive tomorrow, depending on how my voice and mouth feel. Um, but I will be live again later this week with more stuff, as always. You can check my Twitter. There should be a thing below stream. I post updates on when I'm going live, among other things. And you can join the Discord, exclamation mark Discord. Get updates on when I'm going live and just chill, hang out. Me and Barry co-own it, so it's a fun place to just chill and hang out. And uh, go to the VOD channel. This VOD will be uploaded at... 12 p.m. PST tomorrow, so go subscribe, exclamation mark YouTube, and that's it. Have a good night, everyone. I'm gonna go rest my voice.